Hey guys, welcome to the wood shop. Uh, today we're going to be doing a restoration slash resto mod. reason I say that, you know, resto mod generally is means you're not going to keep it original. Uh, and we're going to change up the color on this thing. I'm going to paint it all black. Uh, and you can see it's got some work to be done to it besides the sanding. Uh, it's, it's bent in a couple places. We're going to beat, you know, beat those back out, try to get them as straight as we can. Uh, and hopefully by the time we're done with this, this thing will look brand new. So stick around if you want to see how it turns out. So as you can tell, hopefully by the camera, this and this is sort of like two pieces and the chrome strip here, which kind of adds a decorative touch, uh, but slides over there and just kind of keeps it together. Uh, so I'm going to be taking that off so we can paint it. And also, I don't know if you can tell, this is not a ball bearing setup, so these Probably back in the day were a little cheaper, uh, but one thing I've found about this one, these runners are kind of weak, uh, and it caused a lot of slop in the drawer and left them hanging down and not, not running on the runners too good. So I'm gonna be kind of beating those back down to where they're gonna tighten up a little bit so that it should last me a lot longer. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna take the shop back, clean everything up, and get to sanding.
So guys, next thing we're going to do is start painting this thing. And normally I would be spraying this thing, but uh, the way I'm going to do it, I don't want to be spraying and then have to turn it over and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to use a brush. And this particular type of paint uh, I've got, you can brush it or spray it. Uh, but what I'm going to do, the bottom sides of this box, the drawers, that kind of stuff, stuff that uh, you're not really going to see, I'm going to go ahead and brush that. That way I can let this dry for a couple days. And then when I actually go to spray, I'll have them sitting outside on the dry areas. That way I ain't got to turn them over and take a chance on scratching them. Uh, but we're going to, have to brush these things up. Uh, we've got these things scuffed up pretty good. It don't have to be perfect because this is a very sticky enamel type paint. It kind of sticks to anything. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get this open. And like I said, we're turning this thing black. Uh, so you should see a pretty dramatic difference. But let's go ahead and get started.
guys, as you can tell, we got it all painted up here. And as I said before, I'm not concerned that it's perfect. I've still got some dents in here. I wasn't trying to get it uh, to be show worthy. I just wanted it all the same color, and we've done that. Uh, got to take some tape off of here. Uh, now, I will say I would love to have some of the foam you see these guys using uh, where they can separate all their tools, and it's expensive. So for the time being, I'm just going to use some of this drawer liner. It'll help keep the tools from uh, rattling around, that kind of stuff. But we're going to go ahead and start putting this thing back together. Once we get it assembled and ready, I'm going to start on building the top for it. Uh, and like I said, we'll probably just use that out of some hemlock. Make a nice top, be good enough for what I need it for. And I'll probably end up putting a finish on that, but that'll be another day once this dries up. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So guys, we're getting ready to put this top on. We're going to cut this piece up, and I think we can get the whole top out of this one piece here. There's some knots in it, which, like I said, I'm not super concerned about it, as long as it's a wooden top. Uh, we're going to get that in there, and I thought, since really this piece is not much good for anything else, in between the joints, uh, I'm thinking about taking a piece of this black walnut and just adding it in there just for a little bit of a contrast, look, something to look a little different. Uh, so we'll get started with that. Uh, before you know it, we'll have a top on this thing.
guys, I'm going to say we're at the end of this project. I still got to put a water-based poly on top of this just to finish it out, and I'll record some of that too, but I kind of needed to get this video finished up. I got some bigger things I've got to work on. Uh, but either way, I think it turned out really nice. You can see the wooden top here. I've added walnut accents just mainly because I had a piece there that wasn't really good for much of anything else. Uh, and we put our divisions in here with that walnut. And I think it really sets it off with that top on it. You can see it's a different color now. Uh, and as I said at the beginning, I wasn't worried about getting every single little dent. I could point out all the little dents in there. Uh, the main thing I was working on, this bottom container, I guess you'd say, or a storage area, uh, had a dent right here where the lock goes. Now, I don't have a key to that, but it's it's only going to be me here in the shop, so I'm not worried about it. But it wasn't sitting flat, and so I've got that sitting flat or flush, I should say, against the bottom of this. Uh, either way, I think it turned out nice. And I've still not 100% made my mind up where this is going to live in the shop and exactly what I'm going to put in here. Mostly it's going to be hand tools, you know, ratchets and sockets and stuff, but I'm thinking pretty pretty much I'm going to have it sitting over next to my router table and so I may end up, at least this bigger drawer, putting uh, some foam or some plywood in there to where I can hold some of my router bits and have them stored in there and kind of keep them out of the way and out of the dust. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and finish this one up. I appreciate you watching and sticking with me through this whole thing. And we'll see you on the next video.